Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project coffee shop management system and I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. The version for the PHP I am using is the PHP version 7 and the MySQL version is 5.6. For running this project I am using the XAMPP server, uh, latest XAMPP server but if you have the WAMP server then you can also configure this project on the WAMP server and if you are using the Mac operating system then you can configure and run this project on the WAMP server for Linux operating system, you can configure this project on the lab server, means Linux, Apache, and MySQL, and PHP. Right. For front end, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used, like uh, slider plugins, uh, date validations, uh, form validations, integration of the Reddit calendar. I am using the jQuery plugins. Okay. So, this is all about the technology for developing this project. So let's start with the functionality. So the project title is coffee shop management system and it's a mini project which has only and only admin functionality means it can be used on the coffee shop where uh, the coffee seller can uh, add coffee and other items inside the uh, cart and he can build to the customer. So this is the main concept for developing this project. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the functionality one by one. Let's start the functionality. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a simple and sober home page and this is the about. So if you want to change the content of this about page, then you can do it from the external page directly. This is the login. This is a dynamic page and the credentials are getting verified from the database. If you don't have the user ID and password, then you can can't log in inside the system. This is the contact us and this is a static uh, contact us page. I am not saving this the information of this page anywhere into the database and I am also not sending any type of email and SMS from this application. Okay, so let's log in and the user ID and password is admin and the password is test. If you enter the invalid credential then it will show you invalid user ID and password. Right, so I am entering the correct credential admin and test. So this is the admin dashboard. So admin can perform these operations inside the project. Means admin can add the coffee, admin can add the cell, admin can see the coffee reports, sales report, and the change password and the logout functionality. This admin can perform the same option is available in the above administration menu. So the same thing is available here also. So you can see it here. <laughs> right. Right. So uh, now I am going to going to on all menu one by one. So this is home page already I uh, have shown you about us and the dashboard. This is the admin dashboard and the add coffee. From where you can add the coffee or its related item here, right? So you can add any number of coffee and its related item from this form, and those items will be available on the sales page in the drop down, right? This is the add sales. So for sales you need to enter the customer name first and after the mobile number so i am entering the customer name and the mobile number <clears throat> right so once you click on the just press the enter then you will be able to see this billing dashboard so from where you will be able to select the coffee and its uh, rated item so click on the coffee and add then after that you will be able to see the cost and you can also increase the number of items the cost will be calculated automatically and the total items will, and the total cost will also be calculated automatically right so you can add any number of items and you can also select a number of uh, uh, items here and you can add any number of items into the cart right so this is a total if you want to delete any item just click on the minus button that items will be removed from the billing section right so let me add more items so total item is 640 and if you have increased the items then this total uh, you need to pay is means the customer need to pay is 1040 rupees so this is the billing dashboard the uh, standalone billing dashboard right so once <coughs> the order is ready then you can click on the save and print and after that that item will be saved and the uh, and you will be able to print the items from here means print this receipt from here right so this is the ad sale session this is a report from where you will be able to see all of the coffee reports which has been added by you you can also edit and delete the records from here right you can also edit and delete the records and you can also search uh, 
the record from here you can see this is the search records options right this is the cell report from where you will be able to see all of the cells right this is my last cell once you click on the view details you will be able to see the details of that uh, this uh, billing item right and this is the change password from where cat admin will be able to change his password and that my server will be updated into the database and after that admin will only be able to uh, log inside the system which his updated password details right this is the logout logout once you log out then above administration will menu will not be displayed let me show you so you can see the above my administration menu is not displaying because it's the session driven and incidentally according to the customers means user session right so you can see the above menu is not displaying now okay so this is all about my project coffee shop management system but if you need more functionality in this period if you want to add more uh, requirements in this period just put it to the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will make this project more better and better according to requir requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the last updates video updates on the latest models thanks for watching the video thank you very much